Imagine a world where your office suite keeps getting faster, cleaner, and more reliable without costing you a single penny. That's exactly what's happening today because LibreOffice 25.83 has officially arrived and this update brings a massive wave of stability improvements with a total of 70 bug fixes. In this video, we're diving deep into what's new, what's improved, and why this update matters for every Linux user, Windows user, and anyone who relies on open source productivity tools, LibreOffice has always been the go-to free and open source alternative to Microsoft Office. And the 25.8 series has been one of the most polished releases in years. With the release of 25.83, the document foundation is focusing on pure quality, performance, and reliability. No flashy features, no experimental UI changes, just rock solid refinement to give you a smoother workflow. The first thing to understand is that LibreOffice 25.8 originally launched with major upgrades like support for PDF. 2.0 exporting better compatibility with Microsoft Office documents and up to 30% faster loading times in writer and calc. Now with 25.83, all those improvements become even more stable. If you've noticed the application freezing on large spreadsheets, slow response times, or weird formatting issues in documents created on other platforms. Many of those problems have been addressed in this latest update. One of the biggest focuses in this maintenance release is performance inside virtual machines. A lot of people run LibreOffice inside thin clients, cloud desktops, or lightweight VMS for those users. Memory handling has been refined significantly. This means fewer slowdowns when switching between documents or dealing with big files. Even older hardware will feel slightly faster all thanks to backend optimizations. Another important improvement is better spacing, hyphenation, and text layout in Writer. If you've ever created long documents like reports, assignments, or books, you know how important consistent text rendering is. LibreOffice has fine-tuned the text flow engine, making documents look more professional and reducing layout shifts when you export them as PDFs. And speaking of PDFs, the PDF 2.0 enhancements introduced in the main 25.8 release continue to benefit users with better accuracy, improved transparency, handling, and more reliable form exports. Calc, the spreadsheet app, also gets big stability upgrades. Many users previously reported formula inconsistencies, crashes when working with external data sources, or graphical glitches when zooming in and out. With the 70 bug fixes included in this release, Calc is now much more dependable for business work, whether you're analyzing financial sheets, keeping track of inventory, or managing office data. You'll feel the improvement. Impress LibreOffice's presentation app has also been polished. Slide transitions behave more consistently, exported slides look cleaner, and some visual bugs have been resolved. While Impress isn't as feature-rich as Microsoft PowerPoint, it's getting more refined with every release especially in terms of stability. Now, if you're wondering whether you should download this update right away, here's what you need to know. The official DEB and RPM packages are already available on LibreOffice's website. However, if you prefer using your Linux distribution's repository, your system may take a few days or weeks to roll out the update. Some users like staying strictly within repo updates for maximum stability, while power users prefer downloading directly from LibreOffice.org to get the newest version immediately. Either path is fine, but if you work with large or important documents, updating sooner will likely benefit you. One thing the Document Foundation strongly recommends is that enterprise users rely on LibreOffice Enterprise versions from their certified ecosystem partners. This ensures long-term support, stability patches, and professional-grade reliability. But for regular desktop users, LibreOffice fresh builds like 25.8, three are perfectly safe and highly optimized. Another detail worth noting is that the 25.8 series will continue receiving updates until June 12th, 2026. That means this version is part of a long-term improvement cycle and ISNT going away anytime soon. If you stick to this branch, you can expect more bug fixes, refinements, and possibly performance improvements over the next year and a half. LibreOffice continues to prove why open source software matters. It gives you full control over your documents, your data, and your productivity without locking you into subscriptions or proprietary formats. Every update like 25.8, 3 strengthens its reliability, expands compatibility, and brings more confidence for users who want privacy and freedom in their digital work. 
Today's release may not bring flashy new features, but these 70 bug fixes are incredibly important. They make your day-to-day -day work smoother, your exports cleaner, and your overall experience far more stable. This is the kind of maintenance release that shows how mature and professional LibreOffice has become. If you use LibreOffice daily, whether for writing, spreadsheets, presentations, or forms, this update is absolutely worth your time. Download it, install it, and enjoy a smoother workflow across your Linux or Windows system. And if you've never tried LibreOffice before, this is the perfect moment to jump in. It's free, it's open source, it respects your privacy, and with updates like 25.8, 3, it's getting better every single month.